we're doing today is uh, conducting a population assessment of flathead catfish in the, in the Noose River. Uh, we're using electrofishing techniques to collect the fish. Uh, electrofishing gear uh, is a gear that allows us to put a, a very low voltage uh, into the water, a real mild electrical field. And when we encounter fish, the fish are stunned, they're immobilized, and it gives uh, our staff an opportunity to collect those fish. Uh, we collect the fish, we get information on abundance, we get information on size, condition, uh, and growth and mortality rates as well. Uh, it's, a, it's an excellent way for us to, to determine the overall health of a population and uh, identifies any management needs that we might, that we might, uh, that we might need to, uh, to, to consider in the future. We collect all of our information using a metric system. We, we measure our fish using millimeters and we get uh, weights on our fish uh, using grams. It's a 39 pound flathead. Sixteen five fifty. Ten thirty five. Seventeen six ten. A thirty nine pounder. Nine fifty two. Twenty-seven eight eighty. Eleven twenty-five. I'm gonna say that's the big one. Forty six pounds. Seven fifty two. Five 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 zero. See a range of sizes of fish in the Noose River as well, from fish going to between forty and fifty pounds all the way down to young of the year that uh, may be only a few inches long. Looks more like bait to me. <laughs> 203, 220. Fish that size is probably only a year old. Uh, some of the bigger fish, 40 inches and plus, would be 9 to 10 years old and older. Six thirty three.
2650. Let me ask you something. You, you do this in grams and kilo, kilograms and all that. Can I ask you why? Well, it's in part for standardization. I guess I'll start. We, uh, we, we measure fish and weigh fish uh, using a metric system for standardization. Biologists all over the country uh, use that convention, so when we get together, it's a lot easier for us to communicate what we're seeing if we're all using the same measurement. Okay. Thirty-one ninety. About a twenty-four, twenty-five inch fish, about seven. Our sampling last year, we found that about 70 percent of the fish out there are about 10 pounds or smaller. Boy, he's long. Mm -hmm. One zero four five. Thirteen six hundred. Right at thirty pounds. I was trying to wait for y'all to get down on that other fish, and I waited too long. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice one. Right there. So, uh, you want me to let him go right between the boats? Yes. Yeah. Good gracious. gracious. How old do you think one like that is? He's 10 plus years old. Really? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I want to know is uh, why don't we have a size limit or creel limit on catfish in our river? Well, catfish are considered a non-game fish, and uh, in the case of flathead catfish, which are an introduced species, uh, the traditional uh, technique for managing has been to encourage harvest uh, to make sure that, that these populations stay under under control. But what we're learning is there's a growing number of anglers who prefer to fish for flathead catfish. And so it's important to get that public opinion in order to manufacture an appropriate management plan for the species. And that's something the Wildlife Commission is currently in the process of doing. So this is kind of like what you're doing today. You're getting some idea or a survey or whatever. 
That's right. And, and then you go from there. That's right. right. Uh, it, it's important for setting a minimum size limit to understand about the fish's growth and mortality rates. With those two uh, in mind, you can come up with a, a good science-based uh, size limit uh, that allows some harvest, but at the same time may help protect the uh, the stock of fish at the same at, at, as well. Right. One other question: uh, These flatheads, as big as they are and everything, what what do they mainly feed on? They eat other fish. Uh, they eat primarily uh, sunfish like bluegill, red ear sunfish, uh, red breast sunfish. They'll eat other catfish. They'll feed on shad during the springtime and also suckers and largemouth bass as well. So anything that swims by that fit in his mouth. That's right. He's just a big vacuum cleaner. That's right. Well, I want to thank you for bringing me out here today. All you guys, it's been a real pleasure. And I had a little boo-boo earlier. And I apologize for that, but we got some good stuff. Got some big catfish, and uh, I really thank you for letting me come. Good, glad you could make it.